owner and operator of Earth the Heather. I'll give you a little background information about me. I started my journey in 2009 when I was diagnosed with spinal cerebellar ataxia, TIC2, otherwise known as STA2. And within a year of being diagnosed, I was honorably but medically discharged from the military. At the time, being newly diagnosed, I barely noticed common events yet, such as poor balance and poor hand-eye coordination. But I was still able to achieve a Bachelor of Art in Video Production and Cinematography from the Art Institute of Seattle. Within 10 years, I was fully aware of my new normal. I wasn't able to run anymore and no longer speak as quickly. After moving to North Dakota with my husband, however, I picked up a brush for the first time since the war service. I found my escape. Shortly after moving, I joined a local open arts night with a group called Arts for Vets. It was here that my love for art was rediscovered. I was, I was encouraged to pursue my talents at the um, group, and I held my first art show with great success. And I wanted to go beyond pearl painting for myself and as a hobby. I started to pursue art by Heather over the next year as a small business. I grew, I grew up losing myself in my artwork. My mediums were pencil, charcoal, and watercolor. However, the progression of my disorder started to limit my artistic ability and I could no longer draw for hours. I had to adapt my artistic expression to more fluid art or acrylic paint pouring. Acrylic paint pouring, there's no pressure to stay within the line, so to speak. I learned to give up control, both in life and in art. Acrylic paint pouring allows me to share my journey with others through abstract and fluid art can be in color and emotion. Thank you for letting me share my journey.